Hey guys, this is just a quick video on nutrient changing. Uh, as you can see in front of you, I filled up a couple of five gallon buckets with water from my bathtub here. Um, this isn't very complex stuff. I, I don't use anything special to clean them with other than hot water and uh, a rag or a sponge. I'm sure that uh, a light bleach solution would, you know, sterilize the buckets more, but I haven't had a problem yet. Anyway. So today we're going to use uh, the Flora series. We're going to put them on ripen. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm looking for a new place for my grow tent. And what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to just see how much fruit I can get off them. Today we're going to do some fairly extensive pruning and we're going to see just how many tomatoes you get. Uh, tomatoes are 47 days old right now and they're looking pretty promising. So on the wall over here, I've got my uh, Keep It Simple Recirculating program from General Hydroponics. You can go to their website and I'll post a link later for you. Um, we're going to go with ripen. It's weighed out or it's measured out for gallons on the chart. Uh, I have a dipstick. This is approximately three gallons. Um, so it makes it pretty easy for measuring the nutrients. And the only other thing that uh, I have here are uh, little teaspoons, uh, measuring cups to make this easy. So I go over and I look at ripen, and the schedule shows flora micro and flora bloom, floralicious plus, and liquid cool bloom. Um, I have modified our program a little bit. We're going to be adding CalMax. Uh, this is essential in stopping blossom end rot. Tomatoes aren't, our cherry tomatoes aren't usually as prone to it, but I've, uh, it works, so. And uh, we're not going to be using uh, Floralicious Plus simply because I don't have it. Um, we do, on the other hand, have Liquid Cool Bloom. So all we're going to do is at 2.5 milliliters of Flora Micro, I'm going to take out my Coke bottle here that I uh, repurposed to hold nutrients, and I'm going to put 7.5 milliliters in a bucket. Um, something came up today that I thought I'd share with y'all. Uh, don't pre-adjust your pH. Nutrients will change the pH of your, uh, of your nutrient mix. So it's actually you're smarter to wait until you're done for the day, or you're done adding all of your nutrients. So anyways, um, normally I would go around and do that to all the buckets. I'm just going to show you guys one. Flora Bloom. So 7.5 a gallon. That's this red guy here. Liquid Cool Bloom, this is why greenhouses smell like greenhouses, just for the record. This has a very particular odor to it. So after I've done that, I take my handy dandy wooden spoon and I give it a mix. Um, I'm told this isn't necessary. I do it anyway, especially to get uh, figure out what my pH is. Take your handy dandy pH pen. Um, I got ripped off on this one in a hydroponic shop. I'm sure you can find these online for about sixty dollars. I paid a hundred. So the pH of my solution here is about six point one, six point two. I think I'm gonna. Slightly, slightly increase that. I should probably be using an eyedropper for this as well. Um, this stuff is quite acidic. And you don't need very much.
about a uh, almost six dead on. And one of the last thing that I want to say, if you're using filtered water and it comes out super cold, get yourself a thermometer and you might want to let it sit for a bit. Um, it's essential that you don't accidentally cook your roots or uh, freeze them because you can stunt them with cold water. Uh, this going in, is it about a 64 right now and I might let it warm up a little. Anyways, um, I'll mix up the rest of these and then I'll show you guys what happens when I go to change them out. Thanks for watching.